First off, I'd like to welcome everyone to the last version of the Iron Horse Pulling Team uh, progress over the uh, whole year of this year. Um, went back and looked at several videos and been watching some of my older videos when we started out. We now, I really, to be honest with you, I never thought we'd get it to the point to where we're at now. Um, we, uh, we've got everything. We ran a couple passes on the track. It ran fairly decent. Uh, we still got a lot of work to do. Uh, we got to get more. We got to get more horsepower out of it. That's all it is. That's all there is to it. Um, whether that's a bigger charger next summer, or, or just uh, just keep working on the fuel, learning how the fuel's going. Um, we did get the uh, clutch put in it. Uh, we did change out the clutch uh, system that we had in it. Now, um, now you can see that rod down there. We have a pedal in it now. Um, Still got to do a little bit of welding up there to get that around and finish up that, and then uh, that'll all go back together. So we do have a pedal clutch in it instead of that hydraulic clutch cylinder, which I think will be a lot better. And then come to find out, hydraulic clutch cylinders are illegal in tractor pulling. So evidently they can use it in the, the trucks, but they can't use it in the tractors. So uh, we've been working on the hood here too. I uh, got the hood all done here, the, all the body work's done on the hood. Uh, got the stacks welded into it. Uh, didn't turn out too bad. Um, there, I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, we're going to send it down to uh, Mount Air, Iowa, to Podium Inc. here in January. And they're going to put a full wrap on this hood here. And uh, it'll be really neat. Um, it'll be a really neat deal when it's done um, with a military theme and everything, and the whole tractor uh, being in a military theme. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully, to be dropping some videos. Probably will wait till March till it gets warmed up. We kind of had a little setback here at my house. Um, if everybody heard on the news, uh, the widespread tornado and wind damage, uh, my place got hit by a tornado. And uh, um, you can see my what's left of my yellow shed over there. There's our camper. There's another shed over there. Um, they were pretty much a total loss. That yellow shed we were going to build a new shop in, and it's going to have to go down now. So now the process of dealing with insurance companies, which everybody knows that's fun. And we're probably not going to get anything into the ground until this spring anyway. So um, one of the other things I want to add, uh, we might have some exciting news from the Iron Horse Pulling Team uh, for 2022. Uh, we might be adding another horse to the stable. Um, it's not going to be a big wheel tractor. I'll just leave it at that. And if anybody's got a, Blown Hemi or a 540 Nashville aspirated engine they'd like to loan me for the summer, it would be really nice. But uh, but no, we are looking at adding another vehicle and my daughter driving it. We're hoping to have that deal done right after the first of the year. Uh, working some, with some good friends of ours. Um, like I said, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag before we get it done, but it's looking like I'll be able to swing it. So um, this storm's going to set us back some, though, and... and like I said, we've got the truck all hooked up over there and got enough room for two vehicles in it. So uh, we're looking forward to next summer. On this other vehicle that we're looking at, I don't know if we'll have it ready by next year or not. There's just got a lot of work that needs to be done to it. And to be honest with you, a lot more financial stuff to put into it other than just buying the truck and an engine. There's just a lot more other things that we need to do to it uh, to get it track ready, even though it already is. So. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody in 2022. I hope everybody comes out to the polls, uh, stops by, says hi. Um, like I said, we're really getting excited for next year if we get the second horse in the stable. Um, like I said, it's going to be a learning curve, but uh, we'll see what we can get done. So, again, everybody stay safe. Have a, have a, a wonderful New Year. Spend time with your family over Christmas. And yeah, you can see my campers on his side too. But uh, but uh, God is great, and uh, we we survived, and we will we will uh, move on. So, wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you.